So I picked up this uh, trailer for a hundred dollars. It's just a bare bones kind of trailer. And I'm going to kind of build this out to uh, haul my fishing pontoon boat, which is kind of in storage right over here. And, uh, and kind of use it also as kind of a, an off-road trailer to, to haul some camping gear. And so this is a home-built trailer that I don't know who built it, but it has a very, very uh, long uh, tongue here. And then uh, the suspension is off of a vintage BW air-cooled Beetle. And uh, the tires and wheels, well, the wheels are uh, also uh, vintage Volkswagen uh, wheels. And so it's got 15-inch uh, wheels. And so I can put some uh, at least uh, a good 15-inch uh, tire on there. The uh, tires were probably uh, worth the price of the trailer just in themselves. And they're in pretty good shape. So first thing I'm going to need, I'm going to have to rewire the lights and then, uh, then I was going to put fenders on it and then I'm going to put a, uh, the trailer itself is five feet wide by uh, seven feet tall to this point. And then it's got quite a long tongue. I think it's like uh, 13, uh, 13 foot overall on the trailer. And so I may end up cut that, cutting that down to be a little bit shorter and maybe switching the uh, hitch from a one and seven eighths to a two inch hitch so that it would be a little bit sturdier and more standard. Then I went ahead and um, purchased some fenders the plan is to mount the uh, fenders in about this configuration so that they will uh, either bolt or weld to the frame here and here. I haven't decided quite which. And then it will also be on the inside where I'm going to put a frame rail. And so I'm actually going to add another frame rail here that will be another point where I can uh, either bolt or, or weld to the to the fender. And if I place both these, on, uh, if I place two of these on, I can place them a bit to be uh, three and a half feet apart. And so then I'll be able to put a uh, three and a half foot wide um, plywood bed down there. And so that's kind of the plan thus far. I'm going to probably figure out how I, how I want to build the, uh, the box and then uh, figure out some things like if I want to use expanded uh, steel here to make this kind of a step or area where I can mount ammo boxes or uh, water cans or something like that. So that's kind of the plan thus far. And so stay tuned. So this is just a little update on my uh, off-road trailer build. And uh, so uh, since my last video, I've uh, added the uh, chain and the uh, front uh, lift um, and then I've got over here I've got uh, on the all four corners is I've got uh, corner jacks leveling jacks so that I can level this uh, once I get to a campsite and uh, of course the box is just built out of plywood and uh, two by fours the, the fenders were just uh, off of a Amazon, kind of a standard fender. Um, 
think I covered this in the, in the last video, but uh, basically is that uh, the suspension on this is a Volkswagen Beetle, uh, old school, uh, 1960s, 70s. And we've got uh, VW wheels here with 15 inch uh, tires. Um, I had previously did uh, deck lids that were uh, with uh, half inch plywood. And then I had to reinforce those with the uh, two by fours and they were still kind of uh, thin for it walking on top of or, or, or putting a tent on top of. So, um, and I also discovered that when I'd done the uh, sidewalls, I'd done them at 18 inches high. And of course the floor takes up a three quarters inch of that. And so I was having trouble with clearance for items that were 18 inches tall, like coolers and, and uh, bins. And so what I did then is uh, put another rim around the side with two by four to raise it another uh, inch and a half, inch and three eighths, something like that. And so that will uh, give me a little bit more clearance in there so that I can maybe fit uh, coolers and, and, and bends. And then I went and upgraded the uh, plywood to three quarter inch ply up here. And I didn't uh, bother with getting like marine ply or anything like that. I just got some standard uh, CD ply. And then um, then I uh, primed that with kills and I'm about to uh, paint that with a coat of uh, enamel paint. Okay, so here's a, another uh, video for the completed uh, off-road utility trailer here. And so uh, since we've, I did the uh, last video, is I kind of got these deck lids finished up here and painted. And um, then uh, I've got, you know, just kind of a old cooler strapped here to the front that I could kind of use as a dry box or a cooler if I need it. And um, I'll do a little bit of a walk around here. And so now uh, we've got the tailgate here. And I did get this trailer finally get it registered. I just have a standard kind of flip down um, tailgate here that I can use as a, as a surface here. And then uh, that's uh, supported. I still haven't got that quite rigged yet, but that's uh, supported by um, nylon straps. And the reason I kind of went with uh, nylon uh, strapping was, uh, you know, kind of chains. If you use them, they kind of, whenever you're driving down the road, they're always kind of rattling. And so I thought that uh, nylon would be just, just as strong and, uh, and a little bit uh, less noisy. I still haven't co quite completed uh, hinging uh, these deck lid pieces. But basically, this deck lid piece will hinge up like this. And then it will flip onto the center deck lid piece. And I probably should paint the bottom of that as well. And I've got some camping gear in here already. Um, and rafting gear. And then on this forward deck lid, I was going to have that hinge this way over onto that centerpiece as well. But then I decided because of, you know, wind flow and, and when you're driving down the road uh, that you don't want that lid, to, no matter how well you, you get it down, I wouldn't want it to ever flip up and tear off or anything like that. So I'm gonna hinge it actually on the front here so that when I uh, hinge it up here, I'm just gonna kind of mock this up. Hold on just a second. And so, and that will uh, fold out that way and that'll be kind of better for aerodynamics. And then also it gives me another uh, surface to work on over, over here. So I'll go ahead and 
paint that as well, and then that it will also give me kind of a, a secure sur uh, surface that I could work on, maybe do a kitchen or something like that. Um, and here I've still got s some gear. I got my my uh, little uh, pontoon raft, and I've got a cooler in here, uh, the propane, and basically my camp kitchen and, and stuff like that. And so that's that gear. I'm still kind of figuring out the optimum way to pack that. But uh, the main kind of purpose of this trailer is that I can, uh, when, I, when I close all the deck lids here, so that when I have the deck lids all uh, closed and secured on here, is that I can either mount my, uh, I can strap my raft, inflated um, raft, right onto the top there. And then, you know, that way I, you know, when I go to put it in the river is I can just basically walk that off the back of the trailer and then all, all the gear for the raft would be inside the trailer. And um, so that's kind of the primary purpose of, of, of this trailer. Uh, and if I want to go uh, kind of car camping with it or overland camping is that uh, I'm hoping that this, you know, Volkswagen suspension is going to be uh, a really good suspension for uh, doing kind of, you know, overland stuff on a, you know, on four wheel drive trails and that kind of thing. And then I can actually, uh, my tent is uh, almost the exact same dimensions. It's a four by seven foot tent. And so I can actually put my tent, pitch my tent right on top of the deck of the, of the trailer. And so that makes it a little bit more comfortable, gets it off the ground and out of the rattlesnakes and and uh so that's kind of uh and so rather than go with you know a real expensive uh rooftop tent or anything like that i figure you can just might as well just kind of you know i can strap down a, on my tent on the top of that deck on that trailer i can put my cot in there and uh sleep really well so that's uh my uh Utility trailer uh, build, uh, off off road uh, overland utility trailer build. Uh, st there's still some to dos on there, of course. Is that uh, you know I need to change the the hitch over from a one seven eight inch hitch to a two inch hitch, and I'm I'm thinking about maybe even going with that kind of uh, the roto hitch kind of thing where you could really mount it on a serious four wheel drive. And then I think I'm going to shorten that tongue slightly. Uh, I mean, you know, it's it's like uh, it's almost as as long as the trailer it's, itself. And so I think it, it'll still tow okay if I can shorten that up by a foot or two, and that will make that trailer track just a little bit easier. So that's uh, kind of the uh, trailer build thus far.